Her Majesty the Queen and Prince Philip are greeted by the Governor General Lord Silbury as they step ashore from the liner Gothic at Colombo. Ceylon, an island smaller than Tasmania, yet with a population as large as that of Australia, has been protected by Britain for nearly 150 years. But never in all that time has there been such a day of excitement as this. Escorted by candy and dancers, the Queen drives through the capital to the town hall. At the town hall, one of the most imposing buildings in the fine modern city, the Mayor and Mayoress of Colombo present the royal visitors with garlands of native flowers. Many local personalities are presented to Her Majesty and the Duke, who appear perfectly cool despite the intense heat. Later, in the Independence Memorial Hall, the Queen is to declare open the island's parliament. The ceremony is held here so that many thousands may watch through the pillared walls of the hall. As at Wellington and Canberra, Her Majesty wears her magnificent glittering coronation gown for the occasion. Even the local people find the heat oppressive, but the Queen seems quite unaffected, although this is probably the most humid day of the whole tour. From the Prime Minister, Her Majesty receives her speech from the throne. In her address, the Queen refers to Ceylon's disturbed political situation, but expresses her belief that with mutual confidence, a solution will be found. Preceded by members of Parliament, the Queen and her husband step again into the dazzling sunshine. The warm and affectionate greeting accorded the royal visitors reveals once more the loyalty of the people of Ceylon.